When I had my spiritual awakening in 2013, it completely blew my life apart, but at the same time, it was also my rebirth to a new life. I got divorced, quit my clinical career, moved countries with my adorable Great Dane Zena, spent four years meditating in solitude, and eventually I started working with clients from all over the world. Since then, I've worked with almost 3,000 clients who are experiencing spiritual awakenings in my retreats and coaching programs, and one thing has become clear Clear to me. Spiritual awakenings today are not like they used to be in the years pre-COVID. Today, people who are awakening face challenges different from what I and many others faced years ago. So what exactly has changed about spiritual awakenings? I see five major changes that may be affecting your spiritual awakening right now. The first change is that they're getting faster. A spiritual awakening used to take much longer. I would say a minimum of five years or more for the main awakening to take place. But now I work with clients who wake up one day and completely change their lives and just months. Their whole awakening process is moving so much faster than it did before the COVID pandemic, and there's an energetic reason for this. The COVID pandemic ushered in a really rapid shift in planetary consciousness, and this was an acceleration of the energy that really started to get faster around 2012. Now, to understand why the energy of the planet and spiritual awakenings are getting faster, let's take a quick detour into the spirit world of energy. In spirituality, when we talk about the evolution of consciousness in humans and in the planet, we're talking specifically about the underlying energy rising. We call it the ascension process. The energy goes up in frequency and that means it vibrates faster and holds more light. Ever since 2012, and especially after the COVID pandemic, we've seen a jump in the frequency of energy on the planet and that affects us all. The higher the frequency, the more evolved the energy is and the more light our bodies are required to hold. And with the frequency of energy on the rise, it means that time is also affected. Have you noticed that it feels like things are moving faster than they used to? Like time is moving faster? This is because the frequency of the energy on the planet is rising and that's why spiritual awakenings are happening faster than they used to. So much can happen when you awaken in these fast paced energies filled with light. And that's a good thing because it means that you don't have to take as many years to do major healing work or to transition to your new self. The spiritual transition happens faster and that means you will align with your soul and your higher self faster than we used to down here. But when spiritual awakenings move faster, that also means they're more intense, which is the second major change I see happening right now. Since the energy is moving faster, it also means awakenings are getting more intense because now it feels like everything happens so quickly all at once. Old wounds come up from your past to heal. Your body shifts and changes with the new energy. Your brain rewires itself to think more in alignment with your soul. Your energy field gets bigger and more magnetic. Your outer world shifts quickly. You may quit your job, get fired, lose a relationship, everything all at once. This can be daunting for someone to go through so quickly. I remember that my spiritual awakening, my main one lasted around six years and I thought that was super fast already. Imagine now people going through their main awakenings in like a couple of years or less. That feels totally insane. A person really has to have a tremendous amount of resilience and grounded energy to be able to navigate the rapid spiritual shifts that happen so quickly in this new Aquarian age. But the good news is that spiritual awakenings are now also less solitary. I remember just how alone I felt at times during my awakening, and it wasn't just because I was in self-imposed solitude. I had so much to heal and shift inside of me, so much trauma to work through, and a lifetime of negative thinking to rewire. And there were also some scarier aspects to my awakening, like a spontaneous Kundalini awakening and a rapid development of my psychic abilities. I didn't have many people around me who understood what was happening to me, and I was worried that if I shared too much about my experiences that people would think I was insane. Heck, I thought I was going insane on many occasions. But now, so many millions of people are having spiritual awakenings around the world and they are coming together in communities and groups where they feel a sense of belonging like never before. This is so precious for awakening souls because the more supported and understood they feel, the more peaceful their awakening is. The fourth major change is that we're being helped by planet Earth herself. We're not the only ones evolving and raising our frequency. The 
planet herself is a sentient being and she's going through her own ascension process as we stand on top of her. She's evolving very rapidly, especially during and after the COVID pandemic. During the pandemic, when we were all confined, the planet's frequency shifted upward. And when we came out of confinement, we'd stepped into an outside world that was completely different. And she keeps pushing the game in terms of frequency, challenging us to shift our energy as fast as she does. The truth is we're standing on this rock barreling through space 70,000 miles an hour. And when she shifts, we must also, otherwise we can't be here. So our bodies have to match the frequency of the earth in order to stay here. And she's helping us ascend just by doing her own evolutionary movement. The more you ground into her energy, the easier it'll be to keep up with her ever evolving shifts and the more she can assist you in your own transformation. And being grounded is crucial right now because while all these wonderful evolutionary changes are happening down here, we also have a lot of energy interference. Spiritual or energy interference is when lower level or dense energy bombards your aura, leading to tears in the auric field and making you feel negative feelings like powerlessness, fear, or even rage. You'd have to live under a rock not to see that the planet is going through some temporary chaos during these times of ascension. And this is happening precisely because of the frequency of the energy is rising and there's more light entering the planet. That extra light is forcing us to come face to face with the things in ourselves and in the world that we're previously festering in the dark. All our shadows, all the parts of ourselves and of society at large that are no longer working. This surfacing of shadow material can cause an increase in chaos energy like anger, rage, violence, political turmoil, and overall chaotic energy. And that energy can then be projected onto others, which is felt as energy interference. We've always had some levels of spiritual interference down here on earth, but with the rapid ascension, it's getting much worse temporarily until things are more healed. So that means people who are experiencing awakenings right now also have to learn quickly how to clear any interference from their system before it starts seriously messing with their spiritual path. Speaking of spiritual interference, watch this video next to learn a powerful practice to help you clear energy interference from your life quickly.